Okay, we're going to create a montage for Cadwell. So um, you just log in. Oops, I got it. Okay, we'll log in here. Okay, so you want to go to administration. Okay, so administration, and then you go down here to montages right here. Okay, so uh, there's, let's say you just want to copy a montage. Let's say you're looking at this right over left hemisphere one here. Um, let's say you want a copy of the Mesa Bipolar left over right hemisphere. So you highlight it. And then, then you just click on this copy montage down here. It'll it'll give it'll say copy right here, and then you can just rename it. My oops. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna delete that one. Okay, so you click on it, and then you just type you highlight it and just type my montage. Okay, so now it's the exact same copy as the Mesa Bipolar Left Over Right Hemisphere. So if I click on that one and click on mine, it's the same one, okay? Now if you want to create one from scratch, what you do is you click on this little plus, plus sign here, Add Montage. Okay, so it's going to be My Montage 2, okay? All right, so, so what you do is you go over to this head diagram here, Okay, and you just click and drag, or you click uh, and drag it to the from one electrode to the next, just like the Natus one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a I'm going to do a you know a, a leftover right hemisphere. Okay, so after you get done with the first chain going around here, you add a blank. Okay, now you can go for the second chain. Okay. So, and then you add another blank. It's always nice to have blanks in between your chains. So on the, when you're, when it's displayed on the screen, when you're recording, it's not all, you know, munched or kind of scrunched together. So we're going to add a blank and then I'm going to go right down the midline to separate my hemispheres. And I'm going to add a blank and I'm going to write parasagittal. Add a blank. Okay, I'm going to add another blank, and I'm going to, the, if you remember in the Cadwell Jackbox, PG1 is the left eye, so we're going to, that's going to be connected to A1, and PG2 is the right eye, so that's going to be connected to A2, and then, then the, in the Jackbox, uh, A1 to, or I'm sorry, 1A to, to 1R is the EKG, so just let me show you that. So this basically this diagram is the same as this, right? So I, I so I j I drag this we put the eyes here E1 and E2, which is right here, and I dragged it to A1, and I drag that there. And then the EKG is right down here, so I drag that to that. Okay, so now now everything's set, okay? So the important thing on this is um Oh, we didn't put a, actually, we didn't put a blank in between the eyes in the EKG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that trace, that EKG right there, and then I'm going to add a blank. And then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to go A1 to AR for EKG. Okay. Okay, so now... <clears throat> Um, now you can uh, do a few things here. You can change the color. You just uh, you just left click on it, and you can change the color of the eyelids. So we can make it like blue. Okay, and we'll make uh, we always kind of make EKG red. Um, um, now, if you look here, if you look here on the um, on the sensitivity, the high cut and the low cut, they're all linked, okay? And that's what you want. You want to have them all linked so they all show the same, the same, um, you know, the same settings when you 
you know, on your montage, they'll all be seven microvolts per millimeter, 70, you know, the, the 70 hertz and the, and the one hertz uh, for the low cut. But on the EKG, we're going to take the link off down here because we're going we're gonna to make this, we're going to make this uh, a 50 microvolts right there. Okay, because if you have it on 7, it's going to be really big because it's so close to the heart. The, the EKG is going to just, it's going to go up into your tracing. So we're going to make that 50, okay? Um, and then, lastly, we need to go ahead and we need to rename the, the, the eye leads in the EKG, okay? So we're going to, you click on this right here, and you... And you just put in LOC there and ROC here, Oop. ROC, and here you put um, EKG. Okay, okay. Now instead of it, it'll show up on the it'll show up on the EEG as LOC and ROC and EKG. Otherwise, it'll it'll show the channel names. It'll it'll say you know, E1 to A, A, A1 and E2, E2 to A2 right here. And then it'll say A or 1A to, to 1R here. So you want to give it a name so on the EEG it shows up as LOC and ROC and EKG, okay? And that's really all there is to it. I think Cadwell is really the most, the easiest to, to, to program, okay? All right, so and then after you're done programming it, you just hit save, and there it is, okay? All right, so there's your montage. To delete your montage, you just click on it, and then you just, um, um, you hit down here and you click delete montage right here, and it'll go away, okay? Um, and yeah, so there you go.